So I'm doing like a tear down. What happened was this is the remote I use to control my GoPro 11. I think this, this does GoPro, um, ooh, uh, let me think. It does GoPro 10, 11, and was there nine? Or GoPro nine, I believe, nine through 11. And I was using it the other day, doing my videos. I uh, do I have this uh, channel called Drive Through Walkthrough, where I drive around neighborhoods and videotape the landscape. And um, I, you know, I uh, it said that it needed to be charged, even though I already had charged it. So I put it in the car to charge, which I've done dozens of times. But it started to get really, really hot. So then all of a sudden I knew there was an issue when the actual back started separating here. It's way more than two years old, so the warranty is completely... You know, there's no warranty. So it got deglued. It literally came out to about here. I, my A friend of mine was next to me, and I asked him to touch it before it got swollen up. I said, is this getting hot, or is it just me? He says, wow, this is getting very hot. I left it because I didn't think anything of it. I do it all the time. But then when I saw this coming out to about this far, I said, oh, my goodness. I pulled it. I took the charger out, and um, I had to use my phone. I don't like to use my phone to control the GoPro. I'd rather use the remote. It's easier for me. I use my, uh, because I got to remember to switch to that app when I turn on and off the video. Uh, I use it, you know, I use my phone for maps and, you know, uh, driving. Um, so I like to just see the maps on the screen, not actual GoPro options. So I'm just going to rip it open since it's already ripped open and it seems to be glued so we'll see. I think it has a clip or two. Now do this at your own risk. At your own risk. I'm a regular guy. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, it's dangerous. It's got a battery in it. So I'm doing this so you don't have to. So don't do this. Okay? I'm telling you, don't do this. So now I'm just going to flip it open. At first time I'm doing this. And you can see, all right, so it does have clips. There's a lot of glue around it. Okay, there's another clip right there that clips on here, as you can see these two. Oh, it's like a rubber wrap or something. I don't know. Oh, that's a seal. I don't know. Is, is that glue? Yeah, it's like glued or I have no idea. So this is the back and inside. I'm just getting a new one today. I should get two of them. I just thought about it. Just in case this happens. Ah, you know what? I mean, it lasted me a few years. I, I think I've been using it since it came out. So if that's what, three, four, five years ago, uh, I think with GoPro 9. I have the other one with the four buttons. Uh, this one's a lot easier with just one button. There was no confusion. I don't need to look down. I just pressed uh, start recording and stop recording. But the other one you used to have to know where. To my understanding, I have it. It's in the back. I use that on my GoPro 6, but um, I use my GoPro 11 more do my videos so I don't know can I remove it looks like it's all battery I'm going to remove the battery but I'm not showing you because I don't want you to do what I'm doing um, you know you do uh, you know battery messing with these batteries are very dangerous the battery is glued down do a close-up of the battery just in case uh, some of you experts want to replace it. This is the information on the battery.
some really, really geeky people would definitely from 2020. So it's uh, three years old, this battery, according to what's written there. It's 2023. This swelled up like a balloon. Let me. Two one three three dash two, and uh, this info you can't get because of the glow. All right, so this is where it's soldered, I guess. And it was all glued down. You see the glue mark? Uh, it's just glued. In there. See the glue marks right there? It's all glued. And there's a clip here. I gotta get the motherboard off that clip. You see the clip right there? 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 No, there's a screw. No, it's just one screw. So let me get a screwdriver. Unscrew that. Looks like a hex screw. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a close up. And it looks like a hex screw. Got the screw off, and it was this hex screw. Let me, uh, I don't know the size. I just kept trying different ones, but so that you have an idea, it is a hex screw. And now we're gonna remove the. Uh, the actual um, board. Let's lift up this board. Well, let's see if it actually goes up. I don't see another screw here. I don't see anything else. Close up look of the board, if you. Uh, I don't know that's connected to the board. Maybe it's connected to the board. I'm not sure. So let me see. Oh, you know what? I have to get it past these clips here. So. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm gonna, let me see, of course, maybe that, thing. Okay, it seems to be glued down also. Ah, now this is no good, I just, it broke. So it, it's glued, pretty much, I don't think this is repairable, I don't know how you would get this unglued uh, if there's a right way of taking this apart uh, I don't think mine was so those are those connections there you can see right there like the melting of the wire um, I didn't take this out. These were both off. So I wonder if that was what was causing the batteries to swell. So, you know, my loss is your gain, as you can see the inside. And again, I don't know if this is repairable or um, you can switch out parts. One thing I'll tell you, a lot of glue, a lot of glue. Give you that number up close. Let me fix this. Let me show you the board very close up if you, you know what all this means and you want that information. So here it is. And it was the I should take, you know what, I'll take everything else out. Why don't I just take out the screen too? Right. 
me take apart the screen. I have to bring this to Best Buy to have it recycled. And let me take the screen off, see what's underneath here. All right, destroy the screen. And this is underneath. Again, it seems to be glued, yep, glue, a lot of glue. This is the back. You know, once it the battery swelled up, I, I don't trust this device. God forbid, I'm using it and it catches fire. I have it on a couch or some type of material that can catch fire. That I don't want. So this is the back. This is with the screen actually removed. You can see it's a lot of glue residue. It's all glue residue, it looks like. So let me hold it, you know, let me lay it down. Get a really good look actual board okay that's a really really good I hope it's okay and now I'm gonna move it up battery still connected and uh, yeah you know don't just throw these away Got to recycle them. Just bring them to Best Buy, though. I have a recycling area. And this is the back here. And the charging area, USB-C. battery I already showed you all right and then this is the case the housing keep the housing around put it together just recycle the rest of it put it together like this I don't know what I would use it for anyway this is the inside of the housing if you're curious and I thought these were tabs but it's like glue like a piece of a dab of glue and it has a screen, that's a screen, see-through screen, as you can see. Uh, and um, the inside of the, uh, pressing the button, as you can see, plus. And uh, pretty cool. So that's the housing. Show you that. And uh, I guess I can use it as a fake remote. Put something underneath there. I don't know. The housing, I think I might keep it just for the heck of it. Um, I don't know what I could use this for. <laughs> Maybe somebody online will want to buy it. I don't know. As you can see, it's swelled up. It doesn't even close anymore. Plus, it's unglued. So that was a teardown look at the remote control. Don't do it. I did it. So you don't have to, don't do it. Be very careful with these batteries. They're very kind of dangerous. So again, don't do this as um, I'm doing it so you don't have to. This is the inside of the remote. All right, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Have a good day now. Bye now.